Hello friends, this is Nilesh Shivkar. In this tutorial, we will study the process casually using the round robin technique. In round robin, each process holds the CPU for the specific amount of time. That is, it will perform all its operation for the specific time. And that time is called as a quantum time, Q. In this example, let us say we have three processes, P1, P2, and third one is P3 and their respective bus time is uh, let us say 3, 2 and 4 here let us assume the quantum is 1 that is each process will hold the CPU for the one unit of a time this is what the quantum means uh, let us move on topic This is our process Q. Let us say in this Q, first process is P1, second is P2, and third process is P3. Now, as the process starts, P1 will perform its operation for a one unit of a time that is one quantum and the remaining burst time will be 2 it has performance operation and it will join the queue back here it will be p1 now it's p 2 turn p2 performs its operation and the remaining burst time of the p2 will be 1 since it is 1 it will join the queue again it will be p2 now it's P3 turn. P3 performs its operation for one unit of a time, and the remaining burst time of the P3 becomes three, and it will join Q again. Now it's P1 turn. P1 will perform its operation, and the remaining burst time of the P1 becomes one, and P1 will join the Q again. Now it's P2 turn. P2 will perform its operation and the remaining burst time of the P2 becomes 0. Since the burst time of the P2 is 0, it will not join the queue again. It's P3 turn now. P3 will perform its operation and the remaining burst time of the P2 becomes 2. Since it is 2, it will join the queue again. Here it will be P3. Now it is P1 turn. Now P1 will perform its operation for a one unit of a time, and burst time of the P1 becomes zero. Since P1 has performed its operation and the burst time of the P1 is zero, it will not join the queue again. So here it finishes. Now it's P3 turn. P3 will perform its operation for a one unit of a time, that is quantum Q, and it will join the queue again it will be p3 again it's p3 turn so it will be burst time will be zero and process completes over here in this way round robin is implemented thank you guys for the watching please subscribe us and see you in the next tutorial